Chanel changed my life, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. We spent 7,500 on her. Really almost like 10K, but man, that was the best money I ever spent in my life, man. Right, Chanel? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's that quality. And this right here, oh, that's an easy, easy 20K right there on a female. But you know, that's that's super nano. I don't see dogs like that ever anywhere. I need to take her to the dog shows, man. If she had a pair of nuts and she was a stud, oh, I'd be killing the game. Look at her, man. She be posing all day. She knows what to do for the camera. Yeah, that's some crazy, crazy dogs, man. That's quality. And I produced a crazy stud with Chanel. We got a crazy stud in there right now, cooking. Chanel producing that gas, man. I'm proud of Chanel. And we got puppies. And we got puppies loaded in my girl Lulu. Look at that girl, man. Look, look at them little paws. People do not have English Bulldogs like that. These are micro, mini English Bulldogs. And if you, if you saw the stud I used, man, it's gonna be a crazy litter, man. I'm excited for that. If I get one male out of that, we got a new stud on the way. I'm probably gonna sell all the females, but I need a stud English Bulldog for sure. Crazy puppies, crazy quality, man. Look at that headpiece. He's going to California next week. Chanel, you excited or you sad? I can't tell, man. Man, Chanel is straight quality, man. I'm so proud of my girl. Her first litter had nine puppies. This is her second litter, a five piece, super healthy. Man, I'm so happy with her. Look at my other girl, just posing. Posing all day. Queenie. They know you crazy. I had so many people trying to buy Queen, but she is not for sale, man. I promise she is not for sale. I can't I can't do it. But yeah, man, when you stick with quality when you stick with quality, man, you're gonna have a great outcome. Cause I got I got homies who got maybe four, five females. But they spend like a thousand to two thousand on all of them. And they have trouble selling puppies. You don't want to have, you know what I'm saying, a lot of quantity. It's all about quality. Because really one pup, one pup of Chanel's equals like seven of, of those puppies off of one female. Off of one of their females, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard selling puppies. It's easier to sell quality, man. We got blessed up. Uh, on this litter, everything sold pretty quick. Chanel did her thing, man. But what I'm trying to say is, a lot of people think it's about having puppies, man. You can have 10, 20 puppies. What's the point of taking care of all them little puppies if they're all worth less than two grand, you know? Even that, some people give them away because they have trouble selling them. You don't want to be stuck like that with all those dogs. Believe me, it's, it's hard work. It's hard work for sure. Bentley's my little assistant, you know what I'm saying? He just follows me everywhere. Let's go, Bentley. Come on. <whistles> Bentley, come here. Bentley, I'm going to close the door on you. Come on. <whistles> he still don't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? He's the guard dog around here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody beware, man. Don't be scared of them guns. Y'all better be scared of my boy, Bentley. Come on, man. You are acting up for the camera. You always follow me and listen. Come on. Number one tip if you're gonna get into dog breeding is stick with the quality, man. You can't get in the game buying that bull crap. That's gonna get you nowhere. You gotta get straight to it, straight to business, you know? 
find you a female that's like 5 to 10k and you know you'll be straight that's pretty solid from there you can create a lot of studs a lot of puppies you can do a lot of stuff what did you better off just saving that little money and going going straight to the quality because oh man i'm gonna have no problem selling puppies from this litter off a of queen that's if i even sell any i'm really gonna keep all of them probably ain't no rush on the money god been blessing me lately uh i'm gonna just try to give me another foundation female probably one more stud i want a real nano crazy stud man if he's merle ooh wee we're gonna kill the game we're gonna be on instagram going crazy y'all go tap in on my instagram elusive exotics i'll be posting a lot on there man stay tuned with, keep up with all my dogs you know whenever i don't post on youtube i'm on there uh another thing i wanted to say let me just motivate everybody if you smoke weed right now man you know that's cool and all but man don't let that thing run your life man i know people that <clears throat> they're so slow man they're not they ain't they're not at their 100 you know they're not on their 10 toes down you know they're not on their 10 toes you know because they're always high a lot of y'all smoke every second man imagine how much money and how much time you would be saving if you didn't smoke like go make some money instead of you know sitting there and rolling the blunt you know go go get productive man you know i'm just trying to i used to smoke weed so that's why i'm saying that like i've been sober man you know how much energy i got i wake up man i run on three hours of sleep every day and i look good you know like i don't look dead like i'm alive you know i got energy you know and i really think that's because i don't smoke i don't smoke if i drink it's gonna be at a you know a, a special event i don't drink like that i used to you know i made a lot of dumb decisions drinking you know i made a total some cars might have wrecked some man i just did a lot of dumb stuff you know you live and you learn man but the point is i learned a lot of people just make mistakes and stick they stay doing it you know if you messed up real bad while being high or being drunk why why can't you learn from that <clears throat> there's this breeder from over here from uh i ain't even gonna say it. i ain't even gonna speak on the details but there's a breeder right that had a lot of a lot of dogs man you know you got a lot of stuff going on but you still want to go out and drink every day and possibly you know drink drunk drive and crash and die and that's what unfortunately happened man this breeder I know, you know, got into a car wreck and he passed away, you know, rest in peace. But man, you know, all the dogs you left behind, you know, the family you left behind, all because you wanted to go to the strip club and get drunk. Like, come on, man. You can't, you can't, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know what to value. Do you value your life and your family and what you got going on? Or do you rather get high, drunk? And possibly, you know, ruin your life. You know. Life is full of decisions. Make the right one. Queen be big chilling. Man, how you just gonna step on her, Chanel? Nah, this is my princess, man. buying your first dog don't cheap out you know spend that money get that quality don't try to buy multiple dogs for a good price this don't work like that man in this game in the dog breeding industry is quantity over quality because quantity there's man there's already so many dogs out here man you're gonna end up letting them go for free if you don't got that that quality so keep that in mind Made the beat.